What is a root canal? What happens during a root canal? Let me use an x-ray to explain that. This is a tooth on the bottom right-hand side. So in the industry, we call this tooth number 30, the lower molar on the bottom right-hand side. This tooth has two roots. There's one here and there's one here. Inside all of our roots, there's a hollow canal that runs right down the middle. That hollow canal contains the part of the tooth that's alive. It's called the pulp. In this tooth's case, that pulp has died and it's created, you can see these dark areas around the tips of these roots. These dark areas that I've outlined here in green, that's an inflammatory or an infectious reaction. And the source of that is coming from inside the hollow canal represented in black. That pulp has died. That necrotic pulp tissue is sourcing that inflammatory or infectious reaction. So in order to fix the issue in green, we need to remove the source of it, which is in black. For this particular tooth, I think that doing a root canal is way better than getting the tooth extracted. So in order to do a root canal, what I do is I drill a little hole through the top of that tooth. This tooth used to have a crown on it. That's why it looks different at the top. That crown came off. And so in this case, I would just drill a little hole through the top of the tooth. That would give me access down into those hollow canals. And I would remove all of the necrotic dead pulp tissue inside of there. And then I would clean everything out. And then I would fill those canals up and I would seal them off. And then I would put a permanent filling in the top of this tooth. And that's called a core buildup usually. And that's a solid foundation for you to then go back to your dentist and have them put a new crown on top of that tooth. Everything that I just described here, sometimes I can get that done in one single appointment. However, sometimes I get inside those canals and I find an excessive amount of infection, inflammation, or contamination. And if that's the case, it is sometimes better for you that I pack medication down inside those canals, seal it in there with a temporary filling, and then have you come back and see me a few weeks later, at which point I would rinse out all of that medication and then I would permanently fill those canals up and seal them off. But like I said, as long as that's not necessary, we can usually get that done for you in one single appointment.